Welcome back once more. This is Sunday edition coming to you uh, live from the KTN News Centre here on KTN News. Let's stay with the county of Nairobi and uh, we have just talked about the impeachment of the Speaker of the County Assembly, Beauty Salachi. Is the governor next? Now the Nairobi Governor, Mike Mbovisonko, has dared the County Assembly members to go ahead and impeach him if they are dissatisfied with him. Sonko says he will not be intimidated by the MCAs on Thursday impeached the Speaker, Beatrice Alachi, of alleged gross misconduct. I'm on the run, and then I take a stand. I had to run like a fugitive. Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko is a man on a run, literally, and now members of his county assembly have drawn a red line. Sonko has been put on notice. And it was resolved by the 100 plus MCS unanimously that number one, the governor of Nairobi must appoint a deputy governor within the next 14 days. Failure to will invoke Article 179, Article 180, Article 181 of the Constitution. Number two, we've said the governor was elected in the jurisdiction of Nairobi City County government. And we said the governor must report back to his office a gazetted headquarter of Nairobi City County, which is not in Moor Hills in Machakos. The 14-day notice ends on Thursday, 20th September, in what might appear to be round two of their political battle with the county leadership after they overwhelmingly voted to impeach Speaker Beatrice Elachi. Unajua kwanzia mwezi watatu wabijakuwa na deputy governor. Hayo tundio nimesikia motion, nimekuja na our colleagues, na bunge limepitisha likasema ya tunataka kuwa na mdogo wa governor within 14 days. After dealing with the issue of inadequacy, incompetency on the side of the speaker, we decided now we are taking now the ball to the governor. Failure in 14 days to appoint his principal assistant, Subject to the Supreme Court advisory, as assembly, we are going to invoke Article 179, Article 180, Article 181 for the people. But speaking at his Moa Hills residence in Machakos County Friday, the governor has dismissed the ultimatum. In as much as I respect the Nairobi County Assembly and the members of the Nairobi County Assembly, Mimi Sita Kubali intimidation from anybody from any member. He accuses the assembly of engaging in political witch hunt. I think I have to go back to the Supreme Court and seek for further uh, clarification on what is next after complying with the same advisory opinion by appointing a deputy governor. Then the same is rejected by the county assembly. What is next? It will be remembered that the Maverick Nairobi governor nominated controversial lawyer Miguna Miguna as his deputy, but his nomination was rejected by the county assembly. Duncan Hemba, KTN News. All right, uh, Muir, let me let me begin with you. Uh, do you have any problem with the governor as uh, an assembly? We don't have any problem with the governor at all, at all that I can tell you here. And uh, it is true that we had a motion urging him and uh, to have a deputy within 14 days. Mm -hmm. And also to, we need to see him more in the county headquarters, which is City Hall, where his office is. So we had that motion. But the issue of impeachment, I'm actually I'm hearing it. I had it in the media for the first time, not in the assembly. All right. Yes. Dismas, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. what is your take on this? <laughs> uh, well, Mwishmiwa, uh, Kiraguya confirms that uh, all MCAs in Nairobi fear Governor Mbuvi Sonko. They're, uh, they're unlikely to do anything that he doesn't want. And then for you also to have Governor Mbuvi Sonko at his home saying that uh, I'm daring MPs, essentially flipping the bird and saying in Sheng Mtadu, meaning that uh, there is uh, impunity, mediocrity and corruption at play. But the big issue is that uh, Nairobi residents are suffering from uh, buyer's remorse. A number of them were given a very, I mean, during the sales speech, they were promised so many things and they bought into the idea. But with the benefit of time, they found that it's a, a real deal. In fact, it's like uh, you were given uh, a check. You've gone to the bank and your relationship manager has just called you and has told you there are no resources in this account. So <laughs> make other plans. That, that is what is uh, happening in Nairobi. It's very surprising for Anthony to indicate that the MCAs 
have no issue with the county government. Yet, uh, I mean, really, th th there's a thin line between uh, Sonko and uh, the county government because it's the head. So it's very, it's very interesting. Unless these MCAs, like Maki Bichache, all of them stay in Utopia, they don't know what is happening within the county government of Nairobi. <laughs> that when they wake up in the morning, probably they're not able to see garbage anywhere, they're not able to see the horrible state of roads, they're not able to see illegal mushrooming of uh, structures everywhere. Actually, it's very, I'm, I'm, I even suspect that uh, Waidaka's voters will be, will be very surprised with the statements made by Antonia. But uh, be, be that as it may, it's unacceptable for, for Sonko to be running Nairobi from uh, wherever he's running the county from. In as much as Kipchumba says that there's nothing illegal, but he's actually expected to be in Nairobi. If you're going to have a cabinet meeting as the governor for Nairobi, it would make more sense if you have it at uh, City Hall, mm -hmm. not moving the entire cabinet with the top of the range vehicles, with their personal assistants, and maybe they claim uh, per diems. And in my view, Jubilee should also have a word with uh, Sonko and tell him we, we are giving Kenyans a raw deal. Because, you know, majority of the people who voted for Sonko did so on the basis that President Kenyatta and um, the DP Ruto gave Kenyans a guarantee. Right. They said in as much as you may be having questions around the personality of Sonko, We've got a very solid deputy governor, sure but in any event, we are the ones who are giving you insurance. All right. Speaking of which, Mark, uh, the Nairobi County leadership basically is under Jubilee. Uh, Mike Bovi Sonko uh, in the assembly, Jubilee's majority. Is what's happening, all these problems, uh, an indictment on, on the Jubilee leadership? I, I think Jubilee cannot run away from, from its baby. I think the, the, the Nairobi County is a Jubilee baby and everything that is happening and not happening has to be carried by Jubilee because Jubilee is the party that is, is in, in administration. But what I am particularly exhausted about is the kind of doublespeak our Mweshimiya has just uh, meted upon the Kenyan people as though it is trivial. Number one, he has said that the goose was cooked, but is a large goose was cooked because of misconduct, abuse of office, and all these nice and polished words. And we agreed uh, before the show that clearly if that is the standard they're applying to leadership, the same should apply to Gideon Buvisonko. So my question is, is what is good for the goose suddenly not good for the gander? Because this gander maybe has more gold bling around its neck. This is <laughs> absolute nonsense, and this is the kind of of time wastage we should not allow the Kenyan people to face. Second issue, if you are looking for a reason to have a quarrel with Gideon Bovi Sonko, you need to only visit two counties in this country, the county of Kisumu and the county uh, that uh, Professor Kivuta Kibwana is, 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 is a governor, that is Makweni. If you go to Kisumu today, Kisumu is a clean city. I visited it two weeks ago. Kisumu literally has turned around. Anyang Nyongo has been has not been on Facebook once, Facebook Live, saying what he's doing because he does not need to have a digital government. His government is visible on the very streets of Kisumu City. Nairobi is a trash heap as we speak. Even when we clean the rivers, the most distance we transport the dirt from the rivers is one meter away from the same river bank, mm -hmm. as though we do not understand how gravity works. <laughs> Let me tell you, you do not need any other reason to have quarrel with than gross incompetence as we speak today in the county of Nairobi, which should be the pearl of, 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 of this region. So for me, it is very clear. 14 days is too long. Okay? If we are honest as Kenyans. Yes. We need Sonko to get his act right. And I think their issues for 14 days are completely misplaced. I do not care whether he rules Nairobi from the moon. Right. But if the moon could clean my city, I'd be okay. The problem is the bugger is in McQueen, he's in Machakos or wherever he is. He's smelling totally different air from the fumes of the garbage he's left and collected in Nairobi. Let him come back and smell his own fumes. Maybe, maybe Ben... Yes, Maybe my friend need, 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 need to tell us whether he, he saw a young nyongo with a broom or a shovel in the streets of Kisumu. My friend. He right. did not do that. My but friend, however, you, when you come however, to my house, was I, I agree. in the kitchen when the food was being cooked? I agree. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Governor Sonko doesn't have to be in the streets of Nairobi with a broom and shovel to do, for the work to, do, to happen. And maybe, just maybe, 
Professor Anyang Nyongo doesn't know how to use Facebook. But and I'm not saying all right, so, that. So, so, that, so, so Mwashmiwa, no, no. wait, wait, Mwashmiwa, I want you to respond to the fact that uh, Mark and, uh, and Dismas here think you're, you're having double standards on, yes. on, uh, on, 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 on Elachi and, and the governor. Uh, maybe this is what I can say about you. I'm one of 122 MCAs in the Nairobi City oh, County. Jesus. Second, it takes time for you to have grounds, not just statements of abuse of office, lack of leadership it is not just that it is deeper than that you need you really need to sell this idea to 122 people and then you really need to sell this idea to the 5 million Nairobians who, who and the 1.5 who voted in Nairobi secondly we need to remember that That's as good. much as as much as Sonko is a jubilee governor we need to remember that he got more votes than the president in Nairobi and he got more votes than the right honorable in Nairobi. In Nairobi. Secondly, we also need to know that oh, yeah, Nairobi, no, Nairobi, no, 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 Nairobi no, no. is not wait, that. Wait. Nairobi is not that bad. Let us remember that just yesterday, Nairobi hosted the WBC bout at the KICC wait, where wait, Fatuma wait, Zarika wait, won. Wait, wait. Nairobi hosted a game at Kasarani where Harambe Stars won. Nairobi, Nairobi, Nairobi is not. Even if it was hosted, no, Nairobi no. is not that bad. However, right. development is a process, not a destination. No, no, right. And no, no, we no, must no, move no. away from the instant, instant, instant environment. Stone of throwing. Uh, yes. Back, back yes. Two, two yes. seconds. Number one, it took you the same time to get rid of Elachi. Number two, Nairobians, you've just heard the truth that he wants evidence as as Nairobi is not working. Tweet KTN today. Uh, take a picture of that mound of that outside your house, the sewage that is seeping. Let's give him reason. We have five million Nairobians. Tweet this guy. Tweet KTN. Tag Mark Bichachi. Then All right. Go. Yes. Ben. Yes. Honorable Honorable Kiragu Waidaka is a stern reminder that the elites in this country use law when it suits their partisan interests. I want to tell the nation here that uh, I will say again, this is a return on investment. When you invest on something, it is what it returns. These are now the true colors of our MCAs when the veil is lifted outside city, that city on place. But going back to the main issues, you know there is something on the boy that is not telling us. And I have had the privilege of working with MCAs for a long time. I'll tell you this for free. On the onset of any assembly, MCAs take a lot of loans. They do a lot of party and wine and dining. They exhaust their resources. What happens after that? They resort to rent seeking. These in, they start going to trips, looking for trips to go and discuss a budget in Malindi, mm -hmm. which can be discussed in the next room but from the do, assembly. Uh, do, let, let would me just you, tell you, you speak something that you have evidence yes. of? Let not me tell TSA. you, yes. Okay, not here, say, I'm thanks telling you, Ben. Let, and then after that, they resort now to the seeking. That's why when you look at the history of impeachment in this country, mm -hmm. they happen nearly at the same times. And I'm telling you, go to history today. The same people who have been impeached or threatened to be impeached mm -hmm. happen nearly the same time for a reason. But let us come back to Sonko. Let's talk about Sonko. Do, do you think uh, the things that have been accused, uh, he has been accused of, are impeachable? Um, you know, offenses or... Good question. Conduct. And we also need to ask him, is Nairobi cleaner or dirtier than it was two years ago? Are we, I mean, aren't we in the same Nairobi where we are seeing big, big, big names? We are bringing buildings along Langata Road. All we right. brought down UK Centre. We are on our way to Taj Mahal. All right. We are doing things that I have want never been I want the three done. gentlemen to, to respond to that. Ben. Yes. You know, at times, you, know, you don't need to be a magician to know that something is smelling as bad as a skunk. We know we, we are jumping from one heap of garbage to the other. While something might be done, but there are things that we must address ourselves to the objective part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. We should not be drawn to the subjective kind of things the Moshmi want us to discuss. Right. Whether Zarika fought in the moon or in Washington, if you are to beat somebody, it doesn't depend on the weather you are. It depends on your training. Those are things that have no correlation. Whether you I play football in Korea or hosting, those were, we have hosted games with before Sonko. We, Where we, were we, we are the so let us go back to, let us go back to the main issue mm -hmm. one there are two doors to knock in the sonko problem even before we talk about impeachment and whether it's impeachable one jubilee as a party its leadership owes a duty to the nairobians sonko being a jubilee carrying card holder we the party needs to reign sonko and ask him to nominate 
somebody to act as a deputy. Those offices are not flowers. The, the deputy governor office is a constitutional office. Mm -hmm. It's not a flower for Sonko to say, today I want that flower that's there, tomorrow I want it there. No, these are constitutional offices. Secondly, Nairobi County Assembly, they need to take a position. Whether they are fighting impunity or they are throwing their bunches in the dark. Because you cannot fight one impunity and support the other. I know, and it is a word on the street that people fear Sonko. That's why you could hear even the news calling him a maverick. He's not a maverick. He's just a person who has built his Maybe brand. Maybe the assembly just doesn't share your views of no, Sonko. No, 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 no. But yeah, the I thing let, is... Let me get... Because of let me have, end some, one, one thing. Yes, when, a county, when a county is run virtually, yes. like some other thing, we need to ask ourselves questions. All right. One, when Sonko is running the county from Moa, legally, there is nothing wrong with that. But there is one question in terms of prudence of using county resources. Every day or every one hour, somebody must travel from of Sonko's office in Nairobi to Moa for right. signing of documents. That is state resources being used. All right. That is more than the 550 and, and Ben, before we move on, eh? just yes, to, maybe you, you just need to stick to the two issues that were brought, brought into the assembly, which is not having a deputy governor and two, not being in his office. Are those City really road. grounds to impeach a governor? No, no, are, no, we, are we on our way there? Yes. The, the, the issue is this. We need to understand. We established that we were cooking a goose. The goose was called Beatrice Elachi yes. for mis uh, uh, spending 550000 There is a ganda with a golden chain on its neck called... Gideon Bubi Sonko. Well, that's according I, to Mark Bichachi, right? Yes. You know, it's, it's, a, it's the same thing. Goose Ganda. Same, 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 same public institution, same <laughs> All right. county. All right, because All of time. All I am asking yeah. is apply the same standard. Do you, agree, yes. this must, do you agree with Mark or is he making roadside declarations? Well, what Mark has said for the first time is largely the case that whatever works for Elachi should work for Sonko. And uh, Mushimiwa Antonia should not be shifting goalposts, moving goalposts at pleasure because of the fear of Sonko, number one. Number two, maybe the MCAs need to organize a fact-finding tour paid by Nairobi taxpayers just to drive through Nairobi for him to confirm that there's actually garbage in Nairobi and garbage is in trucks, in truckloads, go to the Dora dumping site. The roads are full of portals. There really nothing is working in Nairobi. And I'm happy that uh, Kipchumba will give them legal advice on that to ensure that they're not accused of uh, incompetence. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, let's leave it there. It has been a very uh, fruitful discussion. Thank you. A lot to talk about. We couldn't possibly... Uh, finish that conversation in uh, under one hour thank you so much uh, let me let me just read a couple of uh, your tweets mushiri wanjenga says no country in the world have never has, has ever succeeded by listening to the imf let's live within our means obonga pamo says personally i like the independence of the nairobi county assembly but it all looks like a witch hunt there is another card below the table for her impeachment uh, fuel alert up says it's erroneous to claim there is no value added on fuel at the retail point check the definition of VAT, they are not addressed uh, the issue either, which is what you can't go on subsidizing uh, but need to cushion the poor. Finally, one year from Engineer Masiso says, Beatrice Salachi should wake up and exit City Hall. Overwhelming voter, vote to oust her should be an eye opener. It is clear that she no longer, she is no longer needed at the Nairobi County Assembly. Thank you for your tweets. Keep the conversation ongoing online or hashtag SKTN Sunday edition. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me on the show this morning. Uh, Kipchumba Karori, lawyer and political analyst, a member of uh, Waidhaka here in Nairobi, Anthony Kirago, uh, Mark Bichache, political analyst and communication expert, and uh, communication risk experts, uh, political risk uh, uh, analyst, Mark uh, Disma, uh, Dismas Mokua, the Duke of Mosocho. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Let's do this again next Sunday, same time, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Sunday edition as we put perspective into the biggest political issues in the Republic. I am Ben Kitili. Bye for now.